My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day. Every damn day. I'm gonna show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do know you. you and they're not thinking about they you. They forgot you. Yeah. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face, but mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Great Cardone? Yeah, okay, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question? Everybody needs, everybody needs to, to find somebody like Grant that can really help and mentor them and, uh, you know, give them the information and the data that they never had growing up. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like my parents weren't rich. You know, like, like my parents, my parents were, were told the same story that, uh, that most everybody's parents told them, you know, 401ks, uh, you know, buy a home, uh, you know, get, buy two cars, you know, stay in one place, don't move, you know, like all these, all these, these, these stories that continue to perpetuate through, through generations. And I had to come across some information from this guy, Grant, that really disrupted all that. You see, like, you got to be careful who you're getting information from. Because the person that you're getting information from may have a different end result than you're looking for. You know, like if uh, the four hour work week, for example, I know it's not a four hour work week and it's about outsourcing and everything, but maybe you want to be involved. Maybe you want to have some place to show up to every day. Like I, like I show up to this office every day. It feels good, man. We got a lot of people here. They're all committed to doing something big and, uh, and it feels good. Like, you, you know, my thing, you know, do I want to be on the perpetual vacation? I got to do something, man. When I go on vacation, I get bored. And, and so I had to get advice from somebody that was actually like in line with where I wanted to go. So today's show is going to be about how to pull your future forward. This was a very important thing for me because I have very little patience. When I finally decided and, and got committed to wanting to do something big, like when I really understood how much money it's gonna take for me to have like the lifestyle that I wanted and I started thinking bigger, I was like, man, I don't wanna wait till I'm 60 for this. Have you guys ever like experienced that where you're like, man, dude, I don't wanna wait till I'm an old man to like have money. Like I don't wanna wait until, you know, I'm, all my good years have passed me before I can actually enjoy things and go on vacations. And, and, and I gotta tell you, like, like once you get committed to the big thing, that next thing that you're gonna need to confront is, how do I make it happen faster? And so for me, I was like, man, I was calculating how to make this thing fast, how to make this thing go fast. And uh, I got some really good news this week. I'll share you guys with, this, with you guys. I'm not boasting. Uh, I'm doing this because I wanna share with you what is possible if you get committed to the right things. Uh, I've been investing in real estate deals with Grant for the last six years, five and a half years. The first three deals that I invested in with Grant, uh, the first deal I gave him 100 grand, the second deal I gave him 150, and the third deal I gave him 185 grand. And that was every penny that I had. And when I wrote that first check for 100 grand and, and I started getting the little cash flow checks every month, I was like, man, I, I thought this would feel different, <laughs> right? Like I get like a $500 check, a $600 check. I'm like, I, feel, I felt like investing a hundred grand would feel a lot different than that. And I couldn't understand it. And I got so impatient. I was like, man, if I got to do this hundred grand at a time and a hundred grand at a time, it's going to take me forever to get where I want to go. But I kept, I kept focus on the target, which was, dude, I want to get a bunch of money packed away in real estate so that I have passive income. So I kept hustling and grinding because I knew that my primary source of income, my job was going to be the thing that funded the real estate investment. So some things happened and some good things happened with the deal and I was able to get some money, make some more money and I was able to make my second investment with 150 grand. Now I got two checks coming. So now I can start like, now I got like a thousand bucks, 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks a month, sometimes 14, 1500 bucks a month coming in. And I'm like, wow, okay, you know, like I'm making it this time, I was probably making like 16 or 17 or 18 grand a month or something like that. Um, but I was packing everything away. Like I still drove my mom's busted ass Lexus that she gave me that would turn off while I was driving down the road. Uh, but like, I was still like paying $800 a month for rent, like not buying stuff. Like I was still packing everything that I made away. 
and uh, the you know the third deal came along and I invested some more money and and so that was you know four years ago five years ago and today those three first deals that I was so impatient about and I couldn't see the future on those deals we had two that refinanced and one that sold and I'm gonna get a check for almost 1.1 million dollars in cash and the best part is that it's a non-taxable event million dollars cash free Five years ago, I would have never thought that that would be what I'm saying today, five years later, right? Because in the moment, you get so impatient. And so, like, the lesson that I learned was, dude, you got to do, the, you do things in order to pull your future forward. Because if you're on board with the fact that you want to make it big and you want to get rich, but you don't want to wait, you have to start doing things now that you may not see the result from until down the road. Like I had no way of knowing that when I wrote that check for 100 grand on that first deal, that that investment would pay me 500 grand five years later. So there's a couple things that I want to talk about to, the, to help you pull your future forward. The very first thing that you need to do in order to pull your future forward is you've got to have a mentor. Like, you, you, like I, didn't, I didn't have the information or the knowledge or the skill to do the real estate thing. I didn't have that. I had to have somebody that taught me that. So, you know, fortunately I had Grant. I never asked him about this. I just watched and listened. Same thing you guys are doing right now. You watch, you listen, you follow. Like, you, you don't need to be in the room face to face with somebody for them to be your mentor. Mentors cha will change your game forever. When we get back from the break, I'm going to cover a few more of these points. Very important because I want to pull your future forward and get you where you want to go faster. This is Young Hustlers. $10 million to put on this event, somewhere around $10 million, probably over that, I just don't want to admit it. No one fills up a stadium with 35,000 people for personal development. They're not only coming back, it's growing. So to be here and to be able to listen to several, you're going to get so much information. And I think what Grant Cardone has done, maybe better than any person in the world, is he has empowered people. He's 10x them. The fact that Grant is around all these people, I know he's doing something right. We just came from Poland, from Romania. Coming all the way from Israel. I'm from Italy, we are very excited to see Grant Cardone. I've been following Graham for about six months and it's been the craziest six months of my life. Ever since I started following Grant, my money's doubled. And we've had 300% growth in our business. In one year, we've increased our sales by $250,000. A few years ago, I was in a car accident. I hit a tree at 120 miles an hour. Uh, I woke up not knowing 10 years of my life, uh, so I was lost. I went from just being a leasing consultant with a $25,000 income, now I'm making six figures, and it wouldn't have been possible without Grant Cardone. Something's really wrong with Grant. He's so crazy, man, but his craziness is so compelling. I'm attracted to crazy people, because in order to be successful, it's got to be something wrong with you. It's possible to live your dream if you work hard, if you're consistent, if you follow the Cardones. But you can no longer afford to play small, to think small, or to act small. So you guys could leave here and say, I just went to the best conference I've ever been to. Hey, what's going on? We're back, Young Hustlers. The show today is about how to pull your future forward. Word of warning for anybody listening. Warning, warning. The purpose of this show and the information that we talk about in this show is for people that want to like, they want to take um, extraordinary actions in order to get down the path faster, right? Like most people are saying, how do I get to two or three million dollars by the time I'm 60? I'm trying to be like, how do I get to two or three million dollars this year? You know, and then and then I I change my action and I and I start putting a plan in place. So I talked before the break about the value of a mentor. Like the value of exchange and transfer of information from people who are already at or well beyond where you want to go in life. One of the most important things. So for me, like, like I have a mentor, his name's Grant. 
You know, do I ask him for advice all the time? Hey man, how should I do this? What should I do with this? If you were me, I, 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 I could count literally on probably one hand the amount of times I've asked him for help like that. The most recent thing that I can ask him about is a relationship, like my marriage. Like I'm not asking about money. I'm not asking about any of that stuff. I'm like, hey dude, what's up with the marriage thing, man? So, um, so like I, I can't I can't emphasize enough the value of having somebody that that, that can share information. So you guys got to stay close to Grant. Like you got to you got to look at the things he does and says. I mean, and I will tell you, the guy has a great time. Like he has fun. You know, like he he would have a lot more fun if it wasn't for me. Because I'm always like, man, we can't do that. Don't post that there. Don't do that. It's not appropriate. We can't. Like he 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 likes to have a good time. He likes to have fun. And so when I look at him, I'm like, man, he makes a brick of money uh, and he has a great time doing it. Like that's, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to make a ton of money and I want to have a great time doing it. So I'm just watching and I'm learning and I know when he gets serious and I know how he looks at real estate and I know how he treats money and I know how he treats his family. Like I look at all those things. I'm watching. I'm looking at the same stuff you guys are. So number one, you've got to have a mentor. Number two, you have to belong to a group. This is probably one of the more difficult things to do. Um, to have a group of people around you that actually can support you. Uh, you, you know, for, for most of us, we don't have relationships with our parents, number one, where they could communicate this information uh, about doing big things fast. Uh, and then number two, uh, you know, we probably don't want to listen to them anyways because they're our parents, you know? Like, I, you know, I'll find reasons why my parents, whatever they tell me is wrong, you know? I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, no, 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 man, I, you know, Right? My, my dad tells me something, Grant tells me something, I'm like, yeah, you're right, Grant. <laughs> dad, you don't know nothing, Dad. <laughs> no, I love my dad. He's awesome. Um, but you got to belong to a group. You have to have a group of people that are like-minded, that are willing to support and encourage and be with you on the ride through the ups and downs because this is like, this is, it, it, get, accelerating the path to your future is not like, it's not the easy street. It's not, you know, cruising in the car down the road. It's, it's, it's taking every gear to redline, like driving like a, on the borderline of out of control all the time. That's what you have to do in order to get where you want to go faster. So if you feel like you're in like mellow mode in your life, dude, you're, you're never going to be there. Like you're never going to get to the point where you're like really cracking things and you're really knocking years off of, of how long it's going to take you to reach your goal. You know, like you gotta be, a, a, you know, I used to ride a motorcycle, dirt bike, all the time. Every weekend we'd go ride. I was always out of control on that thing. I was like on the verge of crashing all the time, you know? And so that's how you have to approach this thing. You gotta be willing to go all in. Like I've spent, over the last two weeks, I've been on probably six or seven planes, uh, overnight flights, uh, hotels, uh, families, funerals, uh, you know, working on stuff that we have going on in the office, like, you know, like that's just the game, dude. Like that is, that is what success is. And so because it's difficult, you need people that are willing to like freaking crack on you. Like my guy, Dave Robards, he just, he's like, I just went and told him, I'm like, Hey dude, you know how much money I made this week on real estate deals? A million dollars cash, bro, in hand. And he's like, wow, man, because it feels like it's taken forever. I'm like, yeah, I was in the same position. You made that first investment like uh, six months ago. Dude, my first investment was made f almost four years ago, and I'm just experiencing this. So, so like in the moment, what you guys got to understand is it's going to seem like it's forever away, and that's why you've got to get a little bit freaking out of control with what you're doing moving towards those targets. And you got to say yes to, to the meeting at, at 6 a.m., that means that you got to fly in, you know, the night before and that night before you were just coming back from another trip and like you got to go out in every direction so aggressively. And when you come back and you have family that isn't supportive or friends that aren't supportive or people that just they're, they're not helping you along the way, they're trying to give you a reason to back off. Dude, it's going to it's going to delay how long it takes you to get where you want to go. And and if you want to be to the destination, whatever you want to call this thing, do you got to go all in and you got to move fast and you got to have people around you that are going to support you. Like our group here, it's, it's my job, right? But this group in this, in this office, everybody wants to do something more.
Like they all want more here. Like we got 120 people here, everybody wants to do more. Like there may be like three or four that are just kind of like whatever, but every day this message is, is infiltrating our office in our space. And then I get connected to people around the country, you know, whether it's, it's Las Vegas or New York or Chicago or Texas, uh, Dallas, Texas, whatever. Like I get connected with people that are like, I'm like, okay, hey man, these are people that like they want to do more. They're, they're, they're not just takers, right? That they, they can give back in some way. Like it'll be like, uh, 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 there'll be a cycle, right? So dude, like I'm always looking for people that I can bring into my group that we can help and learn from each other and, 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 and elevate. So you gotta belong to a group. And if you can't find that group at home and you can't find that group with your friends and family in your own city, you've gotta find that group somewhere. Um, when we get back from the break, I'm gonna go over the last point, very important, how to pull your future forward this week on Young Hustlers, Hustler, Hustler, Hustler. All right, so look, look, the purpose here is to answer your questions that are going on with what you're getting. Okay, there's a lot of content here. I probably have too much, too much information. Okay, you had a question, sir. What's senior to you, intuition or stats when hiring and retaining and firing? A lot of employees think, oh, that's not my job. It's just that employee mindset. Do you think that that's kind of like a psychological power move in a way? But do I go back over and over until I master that? What would you recommend for smaller companies that uh, don't necessarily have the ability to, to like train. How do we make them pass the test? How can me as a salesperson, um, you know, apply some of this stuff that we've been learning about the executive roles and like uh, start to create that culture even though I'm not in that position? What's their profile look like for your best salespeople? Uh, our entire company is, is remote um, salespeople. It becomes a problem as we start to scale. He's struggling with the finesse to, to speak about what we do. He's struggling on the phone. He's struggling implementing what you do. W what's your suggestion? All right, we're back, young hustlers. I want to get to the phones. Uh, they're all lit up right now. We're talking about how to bring your future forward, get where you want to go faster, accelerate your journey. Who do we got, Kelvin? We have Mo from Canada. Mo from Canada. What's going on, Mo? Hey, yo, Mo, thanks for calling the show. For sure, for sure. Yo, I've, I've actually been in a struggle lately. Just uh, couldn't decide what to do. So I'm a marketer. I've, I've learned marketing in the past two years. Uh -huh. And now it's time to get more clients, right? Yeah. However, uh, to get clients, I need to know sales, right? That's Growing up, I was correct. very passionate about sales. I really wanted to learn it. But, uh, you know, uh, where I live right now, door-to-door -door sales are almost illegal, right? No, solic no soliciting signs everywhere and whatnot. And so I've stuck to the cold calling approach. And... Uh, so far, it hasn't been going that well. Uh, I, I haven't been getting in touch with the decision makers. Instead, like with uh, their people, I've gone to meetings with their people, but it hasn't worked out. So I've been thinking whether I should learn sales or hire people that could help me out and pay them commission. Uh, well, y y both. <laughs> Uh, if you if you plan on starting a business, sales is going to be a big part of it. You're going to be negotiating salaries. You're going to be negotiating leases. You're going to be negotiating with vendors. You're going to be negotiating with customers. Like sales will be a part of your life no matter what you do if you live on planet For Earth. For sure. So you've got to you've got to learn that first. Okay. Uh, the second okay. thing is yes, you should definitely hire salespeople and pay them uh, commission because that's how you can grow and expand, right? Like salespeople don't cost you money; they make you money. So exactly. I would say do, do both. Uh, if you haven't taken sales courses or anything like that, dude, you got to get on that because you're on an economic planet and the people sure. that can talk and communicate and persuade and get what they want in situations uh, are the ones that win big. So thank you for the call. Mo from Canada. Who do we got next? Canada. Canada. Right, so next we got Julian from Baltimore. Julian from Baltimore. What's going on, Jay? Hey, what's, how are you, man? Good, man. What's up? Uh, nothing. You know, uh, first I want to just say thank you so much for all the uh, insight that you give. I really appreciate your story. Obviously, Grant's story is phenomenal, but your story 
also is great. And I just want to thank you guys for all that you do. I do have a question, though. Yep. Um, so I'm seen as a nice guy in my industry as far as when people talk to me, interact with me. I know they just see me as a nice guy. And, I'm, you know, I want to get away from that, uh-huh. be able to close people. And I just say, oh, you're such a nice guy. And, you know, actually be able to apply a little more pressure mm-hmm. and, um, you know, not just be seen as a nice guy, but a closer. Yeah, well, like, that, that has nothing to do with you being a nice guy. It just has to do with you not knowing what to do or say in the situation. I mean, like, like I'm a nice guy too, but, like, I, I have technique. Like, I have word tracks. Like, I understand where, where I'm at in the deal and, and how I need to get things done. Like, you know, to be a closer, you don't have to be a dick. Uh, you know, like that, 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 you know, I think people think that they have to have this big change in who they are as a person in order to be successful in sales. Like, dude, if you're quiet, if you're extroverted, if you're a strong personality, if you're more supportive, like, dude, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's like, uh, following a recipe in the kitchen. I don't need to be a professional chef to follow a recipe. If you tell me the ingredients and how to cook it, I, all you got to do is follow the instructions. So sales isn't a personality-based thing. It's a technique-based thing. It's a skill-based thing. Like you just got to learn how to, how to do the things in the process and ask the right questions, show the product the way in a way that actually solves problems for the customer, uh, tailor the presentation around their needs, and then ask them for the business. Like I don't know why people think this is so hard. Like it... it, 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 it it's about understanding A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. step A, what do I need to do? Step B, what do I need to do? And then you got to get in the ring and repeat it enough to where it becomes fluid, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the one question, the one question that you need to, to add to your, to your sales repertoire, anybody who has, like, any aversion to the close, the one question that you need to ask, like, if you're in a presentation, you're like, oh, man, like, I'm kind of at the end of my deal here. Like, how do I, how do I get to the next step? Like, how do I, you know, without being like, so what do you think? You know, you, you ask them this question. You can, you can practice it. You can repeat it. You can drill it. And you can say it with total confidence. Have you seen enough to make a decision? That's it. It's such an easy mm-hmm. question. And it, it's, a, it's a bridge. It gets you into the close. Have you seen enough to make a decision? Like, you don't have to be uh, some aggro, uh, super type A. Are you ready to do it now? Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. <laughs> you know? You don't have to go all Hulkamania on him. Uh, dude, have you seen enough to make a decision? No? Completely understand? You know, let me continue with my presentation. You know? Have you seen enough to make sense of the money? You know? Uh, you know? Are you, ready? Are you ready to roll, man? Let's do this. Let's go. You know, try to initiate the objection and then s- solve the problem. You know, if you feel like sales is a guessing game, then there's a lot you don't understand about sales. Uh, so my advice to you, Julian, is, is educate yourself on sales, buy sales programs. This show isn't something that, like, I get paid for. Like, typically I'm in the middle of seven different things and somebody's like, hey, by the way, you've got a show in 10 minutes. And I'm like, well, how can I give? How can I give value? How can I help people? How can I use my story with where I'm at, with what I've seen, with where I've come from? How can I use that to give some, some, some guidance or some, just some more certainty that like, dude, when you show up every day and you're pounding and you're grinding, you may not see anything come of it that day. But if you do that consistently over time, it pays off. So like, you've just got to get on a track. You know, you've got to get on a track and you've got to dig in and you've got to put the blinders on and not get distracted. Too many times people are actually in a situation where they can win, but they get distracted by the Bitcoin or by the this or by the that or by the, 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 they get distracted and they're not even going all in with where they're at. You know, they work a job where they have so much opportunity from nine to five or nine to six. And then at six o'clock they go off and they start some side hustle. And you're like, man, you could get more opportunity out of the job that you show up to every day if you just committed more. If you just showed up more, if you just hung around for a couple extra hours, if you showed up on a Saturday, even though you don't show up on Saturdays and just like sat in the office and tried to figure something out, like, like there's opportunity everywhere. And I think people get distracted too fast. So like, dude, you, 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 
you, you just gotta you just gotta commit to where you're at. Like it, it's 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 follow the steps. Like understand, learn sales, find a mentor, join a group so you have support, and then find a way to continue to give back to people. Like like the the eighty five percent of what we do here, we don't get paid for. It's all a give back. It's all just information that we're using to give back. You know, people people take our free information and have complete radical transformations in their life and their ability to produce income. A guy just hit me up. He's like, dude, since I follow you, I went from 70 grand a year to 150 on Instagram. Like, dude, that's freaking awesome, dude. You, that, that is a game changer for people, you know? But don't stop there, man. Don't be a bitch. Don't stop. Like, you got to take that 150 to, to, to 1 million, you know? Like, you got to go from a million dollar a year target to a million dollar a month target, which I did. I was like, man, I got to make a million dollars a year. I start getting close to that goal. I'm like, man, I need to make a million dollars a month. Guess what? I had a million dollar a month, son. Damn, bitch. Dude, I, I'm, and, and now it's real to me. Like, I'm like, damn, dude, it's, it can happen. So you got to figure out like, okay, who am I going to get advice from and information from? And does that support where I want to go and who I want to be in life? Okay. Number two. Dude, how can I get people around me that will support me? If you find people, a group of people that's big enough, that's looking for a group, that's looking for opportunity, and that is actually like optimistic about things, dude, freaking magic happens. Magic. Because you, most people aren't even aware that the people that they're surrounded with in their life don't probably even want to see them do well. Because it's a reminder of something that they're unable to do on their own. It's a trip. People you love, like your brother, your sister, your family, dude. Like, th th these are some hard conversations, right? Like, oh man, why are you working so much? Dude, I had friends that were like, dude, why are you working so much? I hope this thing works out for you. This Grant Cardone guy, I hope he's not scamming you. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he, you know, you're doing all this stuff and it's never going to pay off. Uh, I think it paid off. So, like, just got to get committed to the deal, man. I'm just telling you guys what I did. I, I was able to get mentorship from Grant from a distance. We, we built a company where every, every day we show up, people are talking about winning and having successes. I've got people I'm connected to around the country that are all positive, that are all looking to crush and do things big that I get connected with, that I get inspiration from. And then I try to come on here and I try to give back. I try to give back. I try to help people. I try to transfer what I've learned to somebody else and hopefully you can do something with it. So we got any more people on the call? Let's go, let's go to another caller. All right, so we have Steven from Santa Barbara. Steven, you're on the call. Hey, Steven, Steven what's going on, man? How you doing, man? I'm good. Thanks for calling into the show. Take my call. Appreciate you taking my call, and I just want to say uh, congratulations for all you guys do. really appreciate that. Uh, a quick question for you. It might be more of a Monday show question, but you were talking earlier about returns with Cardone Capital. Um, I am an accredited investor. I've actually sent my accreditation certification into Melissa. Awesome. And, um, you know, I, I want to know where can I get some historic, you know, because you guys, you and Grant always talk about these great returns, and I know that the preferred offering is a lot less than that. You know, and I know you can't promise the world, but where can I see some historical evidence on that? That's my first question. Uh, and then they, secondly, they, I'd just like to comment that um, – you know, I am, you, you talk about getting to 60 years old and, and having $2 million. You know, I, I fell for the dream that was given to me by my parents. And, uh, you know, I am 60 years old. Mm -hmm. I am worth $2 million net worth. But you know what? I feel like I'm broke. Yeah. So all you young folks out there that are listening, you know, you don't want to end up like me because, you know, I believed in the dream. I saved my money. I flew under the radar, all that stuff. And that's a mistake. You know, don't do it. Now I'm trying to play catch up. You know, I'm not destitute, but, you know, even with the net worth I have, I just, I feel like, uh, like Grant says, you know, the middle class is just not, there is no middle class. Millionaire anymore. is the I new need, middle class. I need more. Millionaire is the What's new that? middle class. Yeah, and, and Santa Barbara, millionaire is nothing. Yeah, yeah right. no, like, you, you, you know, it, it's, it's a highly affluent area. It's expensive. It's California, so you got a bunch of taxes you're getting banged on with. So, um, but, you know, like, you, you, yeah. you, you made a really good, a really good point, like, you know, the, the information that you're getting, you have to be sure that the people that are giving you the information are where you want to be and where you want to go in life. Like Grant had a beautiful thing he said about the banks, the 401k thing, the banks that they tell you. He's like, dude, the banks will not loan you money to buy their own stock, but they'll loan you money to buy real estate. What does that say about the banks? <laughs> right? It's crazy. How much? It's crazy. 
I won't loan you money to buy stock in our bank, but I have enough faith in this property, in this deal, to loan you 75% of the money for the deal. It's crazy, dude. Um, for the historical information on the, uh, the fund, if you go through the portal on the site, you should have access to that. Uh, then you can see what the, what the returns are. Uh, even in the, uh, the, the book, where's the portfolio book? We have one of those in here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, some of the deals we got in uh, were, were just ridiculous. I mean, like, here, let me see. Yeah. Uh, cash on cash, 40% 40, 40 for Harbor Bay. Uh, yeah. Harbor K was, uh, let's see, 53% cash on cash. I mean, dude, like, this, this deal that I'm in with him, Stuart, which we just uh, refinanced and I got a got like 400k out of 53.8% no, for no 47.9%. You know, I'm an asset manager and I've done I've done a couple doubles from you know I work for an equity partnership we've yeah. done a couple doubles over 2 years I mean it's amazing you know I, I yeah. believe in it I just I'm just not real bullish on California anymore. Yeah, well we're not buying anything in California so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I appreciate the call, Stephen. I, I, that's great feedback. I'm so glad that you shared your story about where you're at. And for, for some of the folks that are on the, 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 the show right now and that are watching, you know, that, that is the trap. Like, you get to two million and, you, and, you, and you, you plan and you chart and you do everything to prepare so that, man, by 65, I can have a couple million dollars and retire. And then you get to 60 years old and you're like, man, this isn't enough. Like it's, it's, it's not enough to support the lifestyle that I want to have. So you've got to get the right information. You've got to have the right mentor. You've got to be around a group of people that'll support you. And then you got to give back because dude, the, the, the universe rewards that stuff, man. Like you, you, giving back and helping people out. Like you never know when that stuff's going to come back around. It makes you sleep good at night. You know, like, like we have great products here. They help people. Like we don't, we're not, we don't scam people out of stuff when they want their money back. We give them their money back. Like. 99% of people win with our products. Like it's 99, the people that win, that don't win, are the ones that buy it and don't use it. Like, like they never even, they, they'll buy the book and they don't even crack the book. They buy that real estate book, they don't even, they don't even open it. So like, dude, that feels good. It feels good to come on and do this show and have people hit me up after and go, hey, thanks so much. You know, I had a question on this and then I help them and then three months later they're like, oh my God, remember when you asked me, you answered me that question, like it changed my deal, got a new job, now I'm making twice the money. Dude, that those are deposits that I'm like, okay, hey man, like we're we're doing more than just than making money here, and uh, and it feels good. It feels good. We have fun. We have a good time, and people are winning. And we want the same for you. We want you to win. That's why I share my story about like this big score that I had this week because it should inspire you, dude. If you feel envy or hate when somebody's sharing success with you, then you will struggle having success because you're gonna get focused on everybody else and everything else that's going on around you and you're gonna start hating, you're gonna start getting envy. Dude, envy is an admission that you know you're capable of more and you're not doing it. So, like, watch yourself. We got any more? No. All right, that's it, guys. So, hey, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this show. Don't wait, don't be patient. Don't follow the, the, the long-term, uh, you know, the safe play. Go all in, dude. Go all in now. Like, make the sacrifices. I had no idea when I was writing those checks in those first real estate deals where it was going to go, but I knew it was the right thing to do. I kept showing up. I kept lit learning and watching from Grant. I, I kept relying on the people around me to support me when I didn't feel like showing up. I didn't feel like making the call. You know, I wanted to stay home. I wanted to call in sick. Like, I relied on the people around me. And, uh, and now I'm in a position where I can give back. So, three things you got to do find a mentor. Find a group and give back. Remember, the only people that condemn the hustle, your hustle, money, are the people that have already given up on all those things themselves. We'll see you next week. This is Young Hustlers. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day, every damn day. I'm going to show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do you. know you and they're not thinking about you. They forgot you. you. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face. But mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Grant Cardone? Yeah, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question?
Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Cardone Zone. And on Thursdays at noon, the show is Young Hustlers, where we give you weekly tips on how you can get ahead in life and accelerate your path to getting where you want to go. You want to call the show today, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. My name is Jared Glant. And if y'all don't know who I am, I've had the opportunity to work next to Grant Cardone, the Grant Cardone, for the last eight years. And, you know, I got to tell you, it's completely changed my life. Uh, I've got vision I didn't have before. I have perspective I didn't have before. I understand goals like I never did before. And, uh, man, it's been such an amazing thing for me. And, and everybody needs everybody needs to to find somebody like Grant that can really help and mentor them and uh, you know, give them the information and the data that they never had growing up. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like my parents weren't rich. You know, the, like, like my parents, my parents were, were told the same story that, uh, that most everybody's parents told them. You know, 401Ks, uh, you know, buy a home, uh, you know, get, buy two cars, you know, stay in one place, don't move, you know, like all these, all these, these, these stories that continue to perpetuate through, through generations. And I had to come across some information from this guy, Grant, that really disrupted all that. You see, like, you got to be careful who you're getting information from, because the person that you're getting information from may have a different end result than you're looking for. You know, like if uh, the four hour work week, for example, I know it's not a four hour work week and it's about outsourcing and everything, but maybe you want to be involved. Maybe you want to have some place to show up to every day. Like I, like I show up to this office every day. It feels good, man. We got a lot of people here. They're all committed to doing something big and, uh, and it feels good. Like, you, you know, my thing, you know, do I want to be on the perpetual vacation? I got to do something, man. When I go on vacation, I get bored. And, and so I had to get advice from somebody that was actually like in line with where I wanted to go. So today's show is going to be about how to pull your future forward. This was a very important thing for me because I have very little patience. When I finally decided and, and got committed to wanting to do something big, like when I really understood how much money it's going to take for me to have like the lifestyle that I wanted and I started thinking bigger, I was like, Man, I don't want to wait till I'm 60 for this. Have you guys ever like experienced that where you're like, man, dude, I don't want to wait till I'm an old man to like have money. Like I don't want to wait until, you know, I'm all my good years have passed me before I can actually enjoy things and go on vacations and 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 I got to tell you like like once you get committed to the big thing, that next thing that you're going to need to confront is how do I make it happen faster? And so for me, I was like, man, I was calculating how to make this thing fast, how to make this thing go fast. And uh, I got some really good news this week. I'll share you guys with this with you guys. I'm not boasting. Uh, I'm doing this because I want to share with you what is possible if you get committed to the right things. Uh, I've been investing in real estate deals with Grant for the last six years, five and a half years. The first three deals that I invested in with Grant, uh, the first deal I gave him 100 grand, the second deal I gave him 150, and the third deal I gave him 185 grand. And that was every penny that I had. And when I wrote that first check for 100 grand and, and I started getting the little cash flow checks every month, I was like, man, I, I thought this would feel different, <laughs> right? Like I get like a $500 check, a $600 check, I'm like, I, feel, I felt like investing a hundred grand would feel a lot different than that, and I couldn't understand it, and I got so impatient. I was like, man, if I got to do this hundred... My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone. Every day, every day, every day. Every damn day. I'm going to show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution, or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you, and they're not thinking about you. They, they do know you. you, and they're not thinking they about you. They forgot you. Yeah. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone, where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face, but mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Greg? Yeah, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question? Yeah.